Hello and welcome back to another TrackMan tutorial video. In this video we're going to be covering how to send reports and a screencast from both of our iOS apps available in the App Store. The first app we'll be using is our iPad specific TM Go app. Whether you're trying to send a report at the end of an active shot analysis session or via shot history, it's important to note that the steps are almost identical. In this example, I'm just going to be sending a report from data that was saved previously. In order to access shot history, click the icon in the top left corner. Scroll down and choose the appropriate session. And finally, give the data a good once over, that way you can verify everything you would expect to be in the report is there. Another helpful way of doing this is by opening up the table view, found in the top center of the screen. This table is the best way to look at all the numbers for each of your shots at once. Once you're ready to share the report, you can do so by clicking the share button in the top right. Next, a window pops up where you can edit the recipient and even add a personalized message. And when you're finally ready to share the report, you can click the orange share button. Since my iPad is not connected to the internet, I get a pop-up indicating my device is offline, and the report will sit in the share queue until it's connected to the internet. In order to access that share queue to see whether or not the report's been sent, click close, and then the settings menu in the top right, and go to upload. And here you'll see that report stalled at 0% with a gray cloud icon indicating that it has not been sent yet. In order to get your iPad online and that report sent out, hit the home button and go into the settings app. Next click Wi-Fi and get connected to a network that does have internet access. Just a quick reminder that your TrackMan's Wi-Fi network does not produce any internet access, so if your iPad is connected to it, you will not be able to send any reports. Once connected successfully, we can go back into the TMGO app and view our share queue, where our report has a green cloud icon and the upload shows as being 100% complete. Now, let's go back to the home screen and open up the TM Golf app. This app can be used on both iPads and iPhones. Once again, I'll be pulling data from shot history to generate a report, but just like last time, the process of sending reports from shot analysis is exactly the same. Once shot history is open, I can then select my name and the golf ball icon next to each group of data that I would like to include in the report. At this point, you can hide the sidebar and give all the data a once over to make sure everything you want to include in the report is included. You may also find it helpful to open up the table view of all the data to get a good overview of all the data that's about to be included in your report. You can even maximize the view to make it full screen. Here you can expand or collapse each of the groups to see the individual shots that make up said groups. You can even delete shots if you'd like by clicking the edit button in the top right hand corner, selecting a shot, and clicking delete in the bottom left. Once you're ready to generate the report, open the menu in the top left and go back as far as you can. Here you'll see a report button and that will generate a report. Choose active groups, preview the report, and you can even add a personalized message in the top. And then click share in the top right hand corner. This will bring up a window where you can choose the recipient. It should auto-populate the contact information from the player chosen initially, but you can always edit the email if you like. Then you can finally click Done in the top left. Now you may be interested in sending a screencast, which is basically a video lesson or screen recording from within the app. In order to do so, choose your desired views, and then open the menu in the top left hand corner. Here you will see a screencast button which opens a window and prompts you to get ready to record. Hey Jake, keep up the good work. Remember to focus on your grip, keep it nice and light. Then once you click stop, you have the option to preview it. Hey Jake, keep up the good work. Remember to focus on your grip, keep it nice and light. At this point, if you're happy with your screencast, you can click share in the top right. 
I've chosen to send a copy. You can swipe over and choose the TrackMan app. And again, it will bring up the window where you can choose your recipient. I add my email address and send it to myself. At this point, I already know my iPad's connected to the internet since I connected it earlier. But it's always good practice to go to the share menu to verify that everything's been sent successfully. In order to do so, you can open the menu in the top left, go to settings, and then sharing. Here you can find the sharing queue which is completely empty because both the screencast and report have already been sent successfully. And that concludes our tutorial on how to send reports and screencasts on our iOS apps. As always, if you have any more questions, please feel free to watch one of our other videos or contact our support line. Thanks for watching.